I'm Mustafa Springston. I graduated from NC State in 2008, and I'm currently in my fourth year at UNC School of Medicine. And I'm Kyle Gazdek, a 2009 graduate from NC State and second year in Chapel Hills Dental School. I'm Melissa Rios. I'm a 2010 graduate from NC State, and I'm a first year at the vet school. I don't remember. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks, guys. Um, okay, so why don't... I think I want to hear from all three of you what you think the biggest difference is between undergrad and professional school. Um, one thing that's pretty different is when you go to professional school, it's kind of like your job to be a student at that point. Um, remember in undergrad, you're involved with a lot more things. People are working part-time jobs. People are doing a lot more extracurricular stuff. Your classes are a little more skip, like different from day to day. Professional school, you your job is to be a student. Your job is to learn, and it's a different experience for sure. Um, in that regards, um, med school is a little different in that there is a pre there's some preclinical years and a clinical years. Preclinical years, you're pretty much a student. You're going to class. You're watching powerpoints. You're taking tests. With the exception you're taking like 25 to 30 credit hours <laughs> versus 15. And in your clinical years, you play doctor in the hospital for a couple of years. So it's a big change just from those years to whatnot. But you're say, busy for most of the day, it sounds like. You are. You, you are not doing there as much outside of being a student as you are in undergrad. It's a big change for sure. Um, for me, um, we have school from 8 to 5 every day. There's no change. Like, you can't choose your classes. So that's a big difference there. Um, another thing is that you study all night, and that's not fun. <laughs> so it's just all night studying. It's like you think you're studying in undergrad, and you're not. Like, this is for real. But it's stuff you want to learn, so that's what's good about that. It's not like all the, you don't have to take statistics, which I hated, um, or biochem. <laughs> um, so that's good. Yeah, and to follow up, I'd say kind of mine is the exact same thing. It's more time consuming, and you have more responsibilities. Like Mustafa said, your job is to be a student. Uh, your job is to learn. You don't have classes that you can just sign up for. They pretty much, the dental school tells you what you're going to take. You don't have a choice and you better do well or else you know you spend a lot of money and you're out the door. Um, also, starting your summer of your freshman year, you're assigned patients. You'll take care of these patients for the next three, pretty much three years. Like anything they need, you take care of. So. I'll give you for example last night, um, I had a patient come in, I did a filling on them. After that I had to go to the lab and do lab work for an hour and a half. So school does not end at 5 o'clock when you're in dental school. You're taking care of your patients, if they need a retainer, if they need whatever else. And actually last night, um, it's kind of funny, I ran to Mustafa at, in Durham and I had a restaurant. But anyway, halfway through dinner, my patient called, one of my patients called and says, hey, like, my tooth is hurting, uh, what should I do, I need to come in Monday, so don't think that when you leave school, in dental school, that you're done for the day. Your patients will call you with all these problems, it's just, yeah, I mean, you're pretty much devoted to your patients, and your job in dental school is to learn as much as you can so that you can better your patients.